Hey guys, so today I wanted to sit down and share with you my drugstore foundation recommendation. It can be so overwhelming walking into the drugstore and trying to figure out what foundations are good, which ones will work for your skin tone. So I wanted to present you my top seven. I know it's a strange number, but I couldn't pick just five and I didn't have enough for 10. So I'm gonna share with you my top foundation picks from the drugstore, so just keep watching. First, you need to know what type of skin I have. I have combination skin. I get a little bit oily around my nose and the center of my forehead. My chin is dry, and then my cheeks are fine, no real issues. And that is my skin type. And then my skin tone is this, basically. So light with neutral to pink undertones. I'm definitely not on the olive or yellow side. I would say neutral to warm undertones for me. Let's jump into the foundations that I would recommend in no particular order. First one being the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Breathable Long Wear Foundation. I generally go for more full coverage, medium to full coverage foundations that are gonna last all day. That is my preference. So if you're looking for a foundation that will last for a long amount of time on combination skin, these are my recommendations. So the Rimmel one, the only thing I don't love about it is that it comes with this wand applicator. I would prefer a pump, but I think this is a beautiful foundation. I haven't used it in a while. I really need to pull it back out of my collection, but it's smooth. It lasts all day for me with a minimal oil peeking through. It comes in a lot of shades. I think this is a really nice one from Rimmel. I would say that my holy grail one has to be this one, judging by the state it's in. And, uh, what's left. I've already gone through half of this one and I have three others that also are half empty. This is the CoverGirl Outlast All Day Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation with Sunscreen. It's a mouthful. It expires fairly quickly. This one is close to expiring, so just keep that in mind. But I think this is beautiful. I especially love it paired with the Outlast powders. It lasts all day. Looks beautiful. Um, it says all day flawless coverage and Yes, I think that it's beautiful. It says the power of a primer, coverage of a concealer, and blendability of a foundation in one, and shine free. It's a good one. And I think this is probably the lowest price point with the Rimmel one. Next up is a newer discovery for me, but it's one I've been going to time and time again. This is the Revlon Age Defying 3X Foundation. It looks like this. I don't know if all of the drugstores have this one yet. I think I found it at one CVS. But this one says that it applies like a primer, which it does, and it feels like a serum. It smooths on, it makes my skin look youthful and fresh. It lasts all day. It's not amazing at oil control, but I will use an oil control powder on the areas that I need it, and it's beautiful. I would compare this to the Alginist Reveal Serum Foundation. It's beautiful, especially if you have more mature skin. It looks gorgeous on the areas that I normally get lines, like here where I smile and around my lips. While it does settle in a little bit, it still looks beautiful. Next up, we have the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage 24 hour foundation. I think this is really good. There have been so many people that have loved this one. This shade range is amazing. I've swatched the entire shade range in another video. If you're curious to know what color would be best for you, this one doesn't budge. It lasts all day. Really good at oil control. Good job. Next up is a newer one as well. This is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation. Well, I can't find a shade that's spot on for me. This one's a little too yellow tone. It looks like skin. It gives you the SPF protection. Doesn't look heavy, but still gives you the like medium to full coverage that I'm looking for. Another good one. Since I am a big fan of the Maybelline Superstay Foundation formula, I love that it comes in Superstay Better Skin Skin Transforming Foundation. Whenever I'm having breakouts or issues with my skin, I go for this one. Obviously, that happens quite a lot since I'm almost halfway through this particular shade. Um, this one is the 10 Porcelain. Most of these are the lightest shades or the second lightest shade for my winter color. I just think it's good. It really does help to kind of smooth out my skin, heal any breakouts, stop any breakouts in their tracks. So I really like this one. And the last one is the Physician's Formula, the Healthy Foundation with Brightening Complex. This one is a bit of a, not a dewier, but like a more satiny finish. Um, it doesn't dry down matte. This one's definitely matte. I would say that the Rimmel one is a bit more matte. The CoverGirl one is a bit more matte. This one has a little bit 
of a fresher look to it. And again, it has the doe foot applicator, which I'm not a big fan of. If it came in a pump, I would love it even more, but the packaging is beautiful, looks very fancy, really good foundation. So those are my recommendations if you're looking for a medium to full coverage foundation for combination to oily skin. I think these are all excellent options. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite drugstore foundation is. I would love to hear. If you did enjoy this video, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.